AI is the biggest trend right now. I know you want to become an AI product manager or break into AI space in general, but the biggest challenge for everybody joining AI space is not having those hands-on experience working on AI product. So what is the fastest way for you to really gain the AI experience? It's actually by doing it, by studying different kind of real life AI product case studies, get yourself immersed using different AI tools and understanding how those AI can empower different applications. In this video, I will share with you the only three AI products all product managers must master for you to break into AI space and help you gain those hands-on experience by analyzing those AI products. I'm also going to share with you my favorite AI AI tools for all the creators. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product feature in Forbes. I've helped thousands of people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startups and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we cover free product management training and tech trends. Like and subscribe and check out new video every Tuesday. There are three types of AI product that I want everybody to understand. Number one is using AI to improve the existing feature. And number two is to use AI to create new features on top of existing platform. And number three, as those AI product cannot be imaginable using AI. Now, I love to give you inspirations and using my favorite uh, creator tools and show you in each of the three types of AI product for you to gain hands-on experience. I recently discovered a creator tool which is using AI to quickly record and enhance the video qualities to film this kind of YouTube videos or TikTok, Instagram Reels, or LinkedIn short videos as well. The concept of CapCut is very simple. Traditional YouTubers like me like to use teleprompter to help to record the specific YouTube videos because lots of us love to read the word by word description. But once we introduce AI, it belongs to the first type of AI product. It's able to improve the existing feature of teleprompter. For example, this app, a CapCat, it was able to generate the script using AI directly. And it was able to have those floating teleprompter effect to demonstrate all the AI script in front of me. And the speed can also change based on my personal speed when reading those scripts. And the way they enable this is actually they putting all my command, for example, how to become product manager with no experience and integrate with ChatGPT and pull the ChatGPT result and display all the script in front of me. And when they do this AI speed teleprompter, it's going to use the voice recognition technology to understand what I'm saying and then match with the specific script displayed in front of me. Whenever I slow down, the script will stop. Whenever I speed up, the script will go and speed up much faster as well. I found this tool extremely useful for creators, especially when they film the short videos. For people like me, when we film long videos, sometimes you can speed up, you can slow down. But however, when you want to film this, 30 seconds TikTok videos. You must be very concise and get to the point much faster and actually take me a really long time to film many short videos. But using this AI is going to enhance the creator experience, especially for those short videos. The second type of AI product is to use AI to create a brand new feature. Now use this app CapCat as an example. They have those low quality enhancer feature that is going to take any of my old low resolution pictures and make it much more HD. It was taken in 2013 when I was just a systems engineer working for Shell Oil and hating my job as a systems engineer. And I had a picture of me in this jumpsuit, but the picture was taken a long time ago and it's not in HD. But through this low quality enhancer, you're able to see the significant high resolution based on the pictures I just show you. They also have another feature called Video Upscaler. It's able to help you to increase the resolution of the pictures and the videos, and you can zoom in to see all the details of those pictures and videos, but without distortion. You can see those really old videos and pictures of me and how much more detail that can generate. Now, let me explain how this AI was able to create this brand new feature and what kind of technology it used. Now let's get technical. First of all, whenever any pictures or video get uploaded to this app, they have the facial detection technology is able to detect the portrait area, which is the face right here. Then they're gonna do the image quality assessment using the transformal based model. Then they're gonna use GAM base, which stands for generative 
adversarial network-based generative quality enhancement methodology to recreate the potential pixel that's missing within the picture and eventually can lead to the new brand new features we just described. And even better, they can apply the same kind of AI technology to enhance the smoothness of videos. For example, some video when you shoot that it's kind of shaking or things are moving too fast, it's not smooth enough. The same technology can be used to smooth out those videos. And there's a separate feature called AI frame interpolation. And that feature can make sure that all the videos you took in the past and when it was shaking or it was interrupted by outside environment and then it's able to smooth out the entire video to create those traditional experience you and your audience want to have. So therefore this part of CapCap was able to use AI to innovate in the creator space. It was able to enhance existing teleprompter features and plus those brand new AI features that enable creators like me to figure out what the best methodology to look good in front of camera to create the best content for all of you guys. And you guys should totally play with those AI features by joining the Discord channel and also try it out on yourself as well. I'm gonna link the Discord channel in the description of this video. The third type of AI product is those products won't be imaginable using AI. The number one product came into my mind is self-driving car. Think about how much self-driving car can run without AI, it's almost nothing. And the technology goes into the self-driving car is extremely complex because self-driving car needs to have a perception model to understand the world around it. And self-driving car also need to train the perception model to understand in what situation and the cars is in front of you, it's about to speed up or a pedestrian is about to cross the road and then you need to stop right away when you're about to hit a pedestrian. And all those very complex environment was trained in those perception model for a self-driving car. And then you're also going to deploy the trained model to the self-driving car and to be applied in the real world driving experience is called the inferencing methodology. Now self-driving car also become even smarter because another friend of mine at Harvard created another startup which is able to predict the behaviors of pedestrians before they even start to cross the road. And all this is representing the enhancement acceleration of AI, how much is changing our day-to-day -day life moving forward. I hope the three examples help you to enlighten what kind of potential AI product you can create and what kind of companies you can join as well. So comment below what kind of three AI product you're most interested. I'm going to launch an AI product management course in June 2024, where we're going to do more case studies and understand how AI is used and deployed in our day-to-day -day life and maybe you are the next one who can impact people around you, create the next generation of AI product. And you can join the AI product management course waitlist in the description of this video and go to this website right here as well. And make sure to gain those hands-on experience with those AI products such as CapCat and also join me on their Discord channel, have a deeper conversation with the founder team to understand what kind of AI technology helps them to create and enhance the features on their roadmap. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. This is Dr. Nancy from PMAccelerator.io. I'm gonna see you in my next video right here.